So a lot of times we're asked, why did we leave the, the military? So in this video today, we're going to be discussing our individual whys on why we left the military. So stay, stay tuned. tuned. Jinx. <laughs> What's up? I'm Fee. And I'm G. And, and welcome, welcome to VG. Hey, where it's all about relationships and lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, G. So, why did you leave the military? What's one reason you left the military? All right. So, one of the biggest reasons that I left the military is because I was miserable. Um, I was in the military for six years, um, joined in 2013, got out in 2019. And literally, that entire six years, I was miserable. She was. I, absolutely miserable. She hated it. Um, I was a mechanic in the military. Go 91 Bravos. Um, I was totally about to say 88 Mike, but... <laughs> no, those are drivers. Divers, yeah. Um, but yeah, I was a 91 Bravo mechanic. And I don't know. I've never known anything about being a mechanic. And I didn't learn much. I did learn some things about being a mechanic, but not a lot about being a mechanic. And just, I just remember every day being just filled with misery and I was extremely depressed. I'm not just going to say I was miserable. I was extremely depressed. Um, I didn't really start seeing any type of happiness or sunlight in my life until I met Fee and I was already, I think three or three or four, in. three or four years in already. So yeah, it was just a really miserable time for me and Dark. i guess i guess a, re a reason for that is because i joined the military it wasn't first of all it wasn't my decision um someone else basically suggested it and me at the time you know I, I i didn't know what else to do so i joined i had no prior knowledge of what they did in there or anything like that so it's complete culture shock and like you're not you're and recruiters lie yeah i'm just gonna throw that out there because yeah. they're freaking I'm not going to say all of them because I respect some of them. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, they will lie and say whatever you want to hear to get you to sign. Yeah. If you're, if you're, uh, what is it? If you can join, they yeah. will. Yeah. They, and that was the case with my recruiter. He lied to me as well. And, you know, uh, I got in there and it was just, like I said, it was culture shock. And, like, every day was filled with doing mundane things you don't want to do. And you really you really are somebody else's property. You're a soldier 24-7. And they really mean that. If they want you to work an extra 12 hours a day, hell, we even have 24-hour shifts sometimes. That's hours. what you do. And you don't get any paid anything extra for that. Mm -hmm. That's just the definition of being a soldier. You're somebody else's property, mm -hmm. honestly. Um... And the second reason I left uh, was because as I grew, like I, I won't knock the military 100% because it did teach me some valuable life lessons, okay? Oh, and yeah, sure. the more I grew, I understood that family was really important to me. You know, I have this wonderful lady I'm with. I want to, you know, have kids with her and I want to be able to see my kids, spend time with them. And the military takes up a really large chunk of your time like extremely ridiculous and my values were changing I was growing they were changing the things I wanted in life were changing and I knew I couldn't achieve those things especially being able to be a part of my family and being with mm -hmm. them uh, as much as I want to be um, I couldn't achieve that in the military so you know the best decision for me and for my own happiness mm -hmm. you know don't stay in something because it's security or whatever the case is because That's you're gonna get your check every what, two, two weeks, weeks, first and 15th? Don't do that. If you're miserable and it doesn't align with what you want in life, you leave. And so I finally chose myself, basically, and I left. Okay, so. cool. <laughs> All right. Fee. <laughs> <laughs> What's your reason for leaving the military? Okay, so for me, when I actually joined the military, it was never supposed to be permanent. I went into the military already knowing that I was going to get out after my first contract. Um, so already setting those intentions, like I wanted to go to the military because I wanted somebody to pay for school so I could get my degree and then move on to my next goal. And that's pretty much what I did. I, I went in. I mean, I almost got hooked, like, because I wasn't as miserable as Shanita no, in the military. No, her, her experience was quite My different. experience was quite different. Um, 
and just my intentions going in I think helped that um, I really wanted to explore the world I wanted to travel I wanted to meet new people um, and I really wanted to just take advantage of those four years that I signed up so I actually did I took advantage of it I traveled around you know the world I went to a couple cool places mm -hmm. I met some amazing people <laughs> the most amazing the person. most amazing person right <laughs> um so it was that it was just i already knew that i wasn't going to stay in for uh the long haul um so i just stuck i i had a plan i stuck to it and i got out i got out i went to school i finished my degree and then that was that like i just you know i was very goal oriented prior to the military and i knew what i wanted so i think just being able to identify, okay, this is only for a short uh, amount of time. And I think that's what helped me too. It helped me to not be as miserable because there's some miserable people in the military. Most of the culture like, is very Yeah, miserable. they're very, to I mean, I'm just gonna throw that word out there, toxic, because they are like, mm -hmm. literally they will sit around and complain about everything. And you get sucked into that. You will like not even be complaining about something and then you just get sucked into a conversation and then all of a sudden you're unhappy and you mm -hmm. have no idea. Like it's no reason why you're unhappy. You just everybody's so miserable. You just, yeah, that does suck. Like, yeah, we do have to. And then it's funny and, because everybody's complaining, but nobody's changing anything. Nobody. Nobody. They're not trying to change their circumstances. They're nobody. not changing a lot of shit in the military. It's just like. Everybody's just complaining. Everybody's just complaining and just What do you miserable. call that? Complaining culture culture or something? It has, I don't know, man. It's a disease, to be honest. Like it and when I say it is in is infected, like the army, I don't I can't speak for any other branch because we were in the army. Yeah. But the army is infected with those people who just sit around and complain about every single thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this is so hard. It's like, yeah, but we're here. Like yeah. Like that's it. You know what I mean? Like you got a contract to fulfill. Fulfill the contract and, and go on about your business. And that's what I did. I was like, all right, time's up. Deuces. And I, <laughs> like, and I got out first train. Yeah. Smoke and I was gone. So So is there a second reason why you left the military? Um, you. Is that um, a good thing? Wait, before I say all. Yeah, it is because oh, ultimately, like when you're growing with somebody, like your vision for your future has to align. Like there can't be any type of friction there. Mm -hmm. And like I knew Geneva was unhappy in the military. So having that military lifestyle or keeping her in that lifestyle it is not um, conducive to our relationship. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, like a job is a job. I can go and get a job anywhere. So... The military for me, like, I understand people like, oh, it's security. Okay, there are other jobs you can get that are secure. As long as you do your job properly, like, you'll always have employment if you're good at what you do. So for me, it was like, okay, well, my lady does not like this lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, and I battled with it for a long time because it's like, well, yeah, I don't she mind it. She wanted to go back. Yeah, actually, I did. I was like, after you know I, got I don't out. mind it. You know, it's easy, whatever. We have money, blah, blah, blah. Um... But in hindsight, it's like I made the best decision right? because we are growing and doing some amazing things together. And honestly, we couldn't have done or we can't even we wouldn't have hit the pinnacle or even sought the pinnacle of where we're going had we stayed in the military. This is very true. And, you know, some people is like, well, you would have been a military spouse. I hate all of it. I don't wanna, <laughs> she I don't wanna, in the military. I don't want to be at home waiting for you while you're going on deployments. I don't want you away from my that kids. shit is hard because yeah. I and actually had to. It. Yeah, and so and that was another thing. Like, let's just go there real quick. And I don't want this video to be too long, but yeah. being a military spouse. Dude, that's a whole nother level of like dedication and it's the own loneliness. Issue. When I tell you, this girl left me, and I'm like, we moved to a, we moved, I just had moved to Texas, and they freaking deployed her. Yep. And I was sitting here by myself, no family, no friends, no nothing. I was just miserable, and I couldn't understand. People do this, like, spouses do this on a regular. And I mean, only the strong survive, and honestly, like, if I had to try to do that one more time, it, I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it. I'm so glad I don't ever have to leave you again. Oh, yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> So, would you recommend the military to anyone else? Absolutely. Um, I honestly think everybody should serve. I honestly think that I'm not like this huge patriot, you know, patriot or whatever, whatever you call it. But I honestly think that the military offers you and gives you skill sets that you can't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of BS that happens in the military, but there's also a lot of good that 
normal civilians will never get to experience. And I agree. I do. Like, I was miserable. Don't get me wrong. But I would never knock the military. I think to each his own. Mm -hmm. I would not not recommend it and I wouldn't would recommend it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, because, like she said, I learned some valuable skill sets. And ultimately, I grew as a person because of the military. Mm -hmm. And I am extremely, extremely grateful for that. Is it for everybody? No. no it's it's not, not for the faint of heart. It's not for, mm -hmm. you know, people who've got their shit together. I'll say that. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, we joined because we didn't have our shit together. Because there are people in there who have their shit together. But it's just... I was it's one a, of them. Yeah, she was. And it's just... It's a certain type of environment that can really break some people if you're yeah, not strong enough for it so you know just be weary of that but i don't not recommend it and i'm just neutral honestly they have three-year contracts they have four-year contract it's three years of your life i mean most of the time people spend three to four years literally just doing nothing like you can at least get health care you can at least get an education out of it not that that is important because you can be extremely successful without an education or any of that shit so i'm not saying that that is the only reason mm -hmm. but i mean it has its perks. So, I would recommend it. She wouldn't or would recommend it. I'm it's, neutral. Yeah, she's I'm the neutral, neutral party here. But honestly, so if you guys have ever been in the military and you've gotten out, let us know what some of your reasons were why you got out. Or even mm -hmm. just your experience. Or if you're military. thinking about joining, let us know in the comments, okay? Yeah, and if you have questions, because like I said, recruiters lie. So, I can definitely say if you do have questions before mm -hmm. you join, hit us up. Because I am definitely open to answering any questions, setting up a call, or doing whatever. Because... They be lying. Lying and scheming to get those Scheme. quotas. So, <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.